we are at Red Lobster for lunch. Yeah, um, this is not diet approved, but it is date night. Red Lobster currently has the Endless Shrimp on Mondays, but they still have it going on all through the week. So if you have not been to Red Lobster and tried their Endless Shrimp, you need to go try it like right now. It is delicious. <laughs> Endless Shrimp. You know, Admiral's Feast. Leftovers. We got leftovers. Late night cheesecake rang. They have the pumpkin cheesecake at this Mexican restaurant. I see it on Facebook and I'm like, Glenn, let's go get us some pumpkin cheesecake. And it's like like almost five dollars a slice. So we're picking up three slices, one for me, one for Glenn, one for Mama Joyce. And we're gonna head back home. But we also gotta stop at Kroger over here. And he's gotta pick up a few things. I need some rub for our steaks tomorrow. So I don't know what's taking so long. I wanna try this cheesecake. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited. Anybody else like just laying in bed, 9.30 at night, and like, hey, let's go get some cheesecake. Here it comes with the goods. Look how delicious this looks. It's pumpkin cheesecake from where is it called? El Colonial. And it's like literally 9 42 at night. <laughs> We're out here eating cheesecake. Look at this. It's caramel drizzle, whipped cream. Okay, let me get a picture. As soon as it is September, I have a check off list of everything pumpkin I have to try. Okay, I did not. I did not bring my selfie stick, so this is yours. This is Mama Joyce's. We are having pumpkin cheesecake. Why is that so? Did it come with forks? It did come with forks. Why is it so dark? I don't know because it's nighttime outside. Yeah, my camera's not very good at nighttime. So, we have this pumpkin cheesecake. I don't think you can see it. This quality of this video is not going to be good at all. But. It's pumpkin cheesecake, late night version. We're gonna see how well it, it is, how well it is, how good it is. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Pumpkin. It's pumpkin cheesecake. But I mean, do you think it's gonna be good pumpkin? I don't know. I've never eaten at this place. Before. Okay, so here is the first bite. That's It's pretty good. It's really good. Big old bite. Mmm. I do like it. Wish you guys could see it better. Probably not gonna make an actual video of this. I'm just gonna add it into like our weight loss journey. <laughs> weight loss journey fail. <laughs> You ever ate that much pears? Yeah, it's good. That's good. That is really good. It should be. It was like 15. I had, I had a receipt. I don't know what I did with it. It was 15. Five bucks a slice. Yeah, it was literally five bucks a slice, but that's a pretty good size slice, though. <clears throat> I used a lot of whipped cream on my. I wish I would get more whipped cream because I've literally ate all my whipped cream. Um, it's pretty good. Would I make the drive again though? No. Would you? Well, you already said no. And I'm not allowed to do anything without your permission. Really? Well, it's right down the street from work, maybe. Uh <laughs> Pick one up and eat it on the way home. Yeah. I'll never tell you about it. Because if I did, I'd get fat shamed. <laughs> you were just waiting for that, weren't you? <laughs> 
pick my minutes. This is actually pretty good, but it's not something I think I'd, I I don't think I'll crave this. Like, I don't think I'll be sitting there saying, hey, let's go get this. Do you? No, I don't think you'll be doing that. Like, it's good, but it's not something that's... It's rich. $5 slice is expensive. It is when you po. But this is a pumpkin item that I can mark off my pumpkin list. I have a pumpkin list. Like, I. Can you have your mom's? Yeah, no! I paid for it. Mm -hmm. Well, you did get one, but Glenn ate it. Oh, his bad ass would eat it. <laughs> You're so... Do you like when people... You're making a mess of my truck, dear. Oh, shit. There's another stain, that's all. You don't have enough stains in this truck. They're all from you. No, I'm not. We're eating. <clears throat> we like to eat with our light on. Last bite. Last big bite. I don't know if I want to eat it or not. It's all gone. Stop! So if your Mexican restaurant has <coughs> pumpkin cheesecake, you'll get some. I'm sure it's pretty good. This shopping haul is from Walmart. I ended up spending a total of like right at 80 bucks. I got some chocolate chip cookies to put in the freezer. I have some meat I had to stock up on. And yes, I'm gonna put these in the freezer so they'll last longer. And then I got some caramel apples, some pumpkin rolls that was on sale. And just, you know, some carrots, eggs, cheese, bacon. Bacon was like $3 a pack, which is a good deal. And I wanted to try these firecracker sausages out and see how well we like those. And I'm going to freeze most of this so it doesn't go bad. But I did get the steaks. It was on sale. And it was a funny thing because, like, when I was picking up these steaks looking at them, it was like 10 bucks, And I was like, I don't know. And then all of a sudden this guy comes over and puts a sticker on I'm like, okay, it's meant for me to get them. <laughs> so I had to hurry up and cook them before they went bad. But... These are the cookies I got and the caramel apples. Oh my gosh, I love caramel apples. It's like really fall time when you have caramel apples. And I picked up some lunch meat from the deli. I got Glenn some. I got me some. I got Mom and Joyce some. We got three different shaved lunch meats. I always like my lunch meat shaved. I got, I think the uh, one I got for myself was like on sale. And then I got Glenn a pound of turkey breast or was it chicken breast? Not quite sure. But anyway, his was like on sale originally eight bucks, and I got it for like three ninety nine a pound. And then we're I never use like carrot chips, so I wanted to see if we like those, even though they're just you know regular carrots. And the pumpkin rolls, I got these for three ninety five each, so I had to stock them up. I'm gonna put them in a deep freeze and have them throughout the fall. I'm big on pumpkin rolls and caramel apples. Oh, these did not last long. Like I'm editing this video now, and these is already gone. So. But I am into the fall season, so I have some overnight oats made with some pumpkin seed granola, and I love pumpkin. This is breakfast. We have oatmeal and pumpkin granola, coconut strips, apples. He does not want to ask if they have pumpkin prep I don't even want to be here. <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> so I am getting the pumpkin.
small frappuccino This is the banana. Why are you saying banana? This is the pumpkin frappe from McDonald's. Let's see, quick taste it. Mm, really good. Really good. Really good. Yeah, this. Not even sure how I can confuse Starbucks and McDonald's, but their Frappuccinos is delicious and pumpkin. And with five ups, Dallas, ten and Miami, six. Miller Lite is brewed for every Cowboys fan. That turned out so pretty. You can see it from outside. Here's my reef. So pretty. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. I have a shopping haul coming soon on this channel from the Dollar Tree and my fall shopping, so check it out when it drops. But I got the mold from Dollar Tree of brains and I tried my attempt of making brain jello. <laughs> it's just orange jello and oranges. And it didn't, the mold did not hold up as well as I had hoped, but it's still delicious and it looks kind of like brains, I guess you could say. <laughs> So I don't know how well I'd rate the mold. Maybe I can spray it with some coconut spray or something next time. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to try that. But yeah, that did not turn out too well. And then this is some pasta with some bacon bits, garlic pasta. It was actually really delicious. Me and Glenn ended up going to Texas Roadhouse. We have no, He's never been to Texas Roadhouse since he's lived here in Ohio. And it was delicious. Okay, so this is Glenn's lunch for Saturday. He has a fruit cup. He has, it's like taco salad bean dip hominy with a um, Spanish style seasoning I made. And then there's like chicken and it's like, it's kind of like a homemade enchilada bowl. Pretty much is what this is. And then I have this vegan protein snack bar and his blueberry oats. I don't know how well he is going to like this. He does love blueberries, so he does not like... Oh, my table is a mess. I have so much of our snacks put out where I've been organizing my cabinets. He does not like these at all. But I still have a bag of these I need to get rid of. And then, you can see, I have been cleaning the cabinets out. So I have, like, all the extra stuff here I need to use up. So I may put some sunflower seeds in his... I may just put the sunflower seeds in his lunchbox so he can have them as a little treat. Because I like to have some stuff in his lunch box for work that he can just snack on if he gets extra hungry and pretty much that is his meal for saturday okay this is hominy and peas glenn hates peas but I have been trying different vegetables and he's actually been eating them so I'm going to try this and if he doesn't like it he can just pull the peas out and we're going to try a little bit of this tonight for dinner. It's hominies and peas with some seasoning and butter Then over here I have my homemade spinach dip. He's got cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, spinach. That's super good. Look at that. So good. And then I have my that is my garlic chicken, garlic parmesan chicken I make in there. So yeah, that is dinner tonight. So we'll see how well this goes. Alright, so this is dinner. It's kind of like a pot pie I kind of made, but it's garlic chicken parmesan my style. You already know how I make it with the no breading. And it's got um, some cream cheese spinach dip and then the hominy with peas. So yeah, this made this like a healthy version of a chicken pot pie. And then I have leftover hominy and peas. So I'm going to see how well Glenn likes this. I just drizzle some more Parmesan cheese on top of it. And here is how I'm caramelizing my chicken right now. So, yep. That is pretty much what we're having for dinner tonight. We're going to see how well he likes this. Alright, so this is dessert. It is Cheerios with peanut butter, honey, and almond bark chocolate drizzled and it's gonna be a little breakfast snack for Glenn to just grab for when he's getting ready to go to work here's our leftover chicken that's shredded up for tomorrow night and then we have some green beans I'm going to be stringing and making green beans with bacon soon and this is what I had for dinner that night which was delicious cannot emphasize delicious enough Mama Joyce ended up stringing the beans and make potatoes greens cornbread 
with corn in it and beans and potatoes and onions and that is my favorite go-to meal oh my goodness I love cornbread and beans and greens it was so delicious thank you mama Joyce for making this I loved it and it we Glenn ended up liking it too I didn't think he would like it too well cornbread and beans but he ended up eating it and he didn't say anything about it so I assume he liked it just as well so this is how I mixed all mine together <laughs> And this is just leftovers, my floor squeaky. But anyway, this is just leftovers that Glenn's gonna have for lunch. And this has got some spinach dip in it. And this is my homemade chicken pot pies. It's hominy and peas, and then my garlic parmesan chicken that I make with a skillet and I shred it. And then I just add a little bit of spinach dip. How I make my spinach dip is spinach, cream cheese, parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some seasoning. And he likes it pretty well. And that is the next few days his lunches for work and they're nice and sealed up tight I'll put in a refrigerator then I'll put them in his lunch boxes and I'll put some water and I'll show you guys here in a minute when I get ready to pack his lunch this is Glenn's lunch I'm waiting for him to come in so I can put it in his lunch box he's got some fruit some banana and some leftovers and then some green beans with potatoes and then two bottles of water and then he has been, I've got this a whole mess, I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving, <laughs> and it's not even October yet. I'm, well, I'm getting ready for fall, guys, but this is like everything that I've got to find a home for. I've been fall cleaning. And he's been grabbing these in the morning. He really likes these. Okay, so this is snack meal prep. It's a cucumber with pepper and ranch, light ranch. And I have this little container that I put their leftovers in. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and just grab them for, you know, whenever I want a snack. I love cucumbers. They make a perfect snack. And this is the pineapple freeze from Taco Bell. How do you like it? All right. Hmm, pretty good. Taco Bell is always having new $5 box lunches, and this is the Cheddar Chalupa. It is really, really good. It's my favorite from Taco Bell now. I forgot to pack Glenn's lunch. I had to throw together a quick lunch. <laughs> so not like me to forget. And later that evening, we decided to have chef salads, and that is what we're going to be having for dinner. And this is my version of like a chef salad bowl, and it's just got everything for a salad inside the lettuce bowl. Pretty yummy with lunch meat, some carrot slices, boiled egg, and cucumbers. He has the tomatoes instead of cucumbers, and he has like a strawberry pack for dinner as a like his fruit. So that is what we ended up having for dinner. He did not really like the strawberry cup, <laughs> so I can't get those no more. This is tonight's dinner. I have my shrimp. Hold on, let me show you my shrimp. Look at that. My shrimp marinating. My steak marinating. Let me show you. I'll also be using this. Some sausage, some potatoes, and corn. So let's see what I make with this. My mom and I like ours well done, well, well, well done. And I got Glenn's back here. <laughs> he likes his medium rare, so. <laughs> And then I got everything in the oven going. Over here I got my canned oranges and then I'm making jello. Oh my goodness, this steak turned out so good. This is tonight's dinner. Corn on the cob and fire cracker sausage with shrimp and steak. This is Glenn's medium rare. That's my mom's. I have to decide for her when she comes in. And here's some snack bites for in the morning for breakfast. So yeah, that is tonight's dinner. This is my first time using Chicago seasoning and I loved it. And that is for Mama Joyce when she gets in her dinner. Oh my goodness, I have a mess to clean up. Here is my dinner. Look how delicious that looks. And that's the leftovers. <laughs> These are cheesecake bites with pumpkin seed granola on top. Super delicious. Leftovers with corn and jello and water. 
and that is Glenn's lunch for his day back Wednesday from his day off Tuesday. <laughs> Okay, tonight's dinner is, for me, red lobster leftovers I did not eat, <laughs> and I found some packets of cocktail sauce, tartar sauce stuff I had in the refrigerator, because I forgot to bring home salsas from red lobster's lunch today. And here is Glenn's dinner. Start out with the best part, the homemade cheesecake bite with some pumpkin spice seed, granola on top. And these are just ham wraps, lunch meat ham wraps with tomatoes, a little bit of mayo, and cheese. And then he has chips, carrot chips with ranch, and then tomatoes and some boiled egg. And then for dessert he has, well his second dessert is some strawberries. So yep, that is his dinner, my dinner. Okay, so this is Glenn's work lunch. He has some leftovers with steak, corn, shrimp, sausage. It's a firecracker sausage. Some jello with some oranges. And then his bottle of water. And then I am going to be putting in some leftover biscuits from Red Lobster into his lunch. Sounds pretty tasty. Tonight's dinner is a chef salad with some orange jello of orange slices inside of it. We have light ranch. We both have two light ranches. This is my salad, and then this is Glenn's. He's got tomatoes in his, and I have onions in mine with no tomatoes, and he don't have onions in his. So they pretty much have everything you possibly think of in it. There's salt, pepper, and yeah, pretty much. I did use sea salt, so it's not much salt, just to give it a little bit of flavor. There's egg, bacon, peppers, carrot slices, some turkey breast. Yep, that is our dinner tonight. Super excited. I got cucumbers in mine. He does not like cucumbers, so he does not have cucumbers either. For lunch, we're having loaded baked potatoes. 